Yesterday we featured the Sabika baseball team. Today we stick with SHS Athletics, but take a look at the Trojan softball team. Ironically, the storyline is pretty similar for Sabika softball. They also, just like the boys, won the Section 5A title and made it to the state tournament. Now the task at hand is to make it back. Sabika started hot last year, winning nine of their first 10 games on their way to an 18-7 record and third Class A state tournament appearance in program history. This spring, the Trojans returned a good amount of their roster from a year ago while also bringing in a handful of key newcomers. And while they've been stuck inside so far, Sabika has been able to mix things up enough in practice to keep things from getting stale. We do switch it up and sometimes we'll do catchers and pitchers practice to give other people a break. We'll hit and come back in here and we switch at every practice who goes where. we got a good group of older girls that are good leaders and we have a, a good group of young girls uh, in ninth grade that are coming up that are going to help us out and they're very talented and competitive. I think that competitive drive has been our biggest um, asset the last couple of years in, a, in our softball program. Practice is a constant battle for a position. All the girls are in working hard. I truly I really believe we can make it back this year. These girls are working just as hard, looking just as good as the girls last year, so I have high hopes. Sabika hoping there'll be a lot of sun this weekend so they can start their season against Pine River Bacchus on Monday. That would be at Pine River Bacchus at 4.30. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.